Hi everyone, Flick here from Sleek Ballet Fitness and today I am taking you through a workout that is going to boost your immune system. So why are our immune systems so important to us? Well, crucially, they help to stave off and protect us from any incoming bacteria or viruses. So we need to keep our immune systems healthy and strong. We can do that in several ways. One crucial way being what we put into our bodies, so our diet. So making sure that you're eating nutrient-dense foods, nothing overly processed, limit your sugar and alcohol intake. And of course, if you're smoking, just don't. That's gonna suppress your immune system, make you susceptible to illnesses. The second thing that is really good is we lower our stress levels and that boosts our immune system and the way we can do that is through exercise and at Sleep Ballet Fitness we are all about getting you feeling great, feeling healthy, feeling strong, long and lean with our ballet based workouts. And this workout that I'm going to take you through today is going to focus on two things. Firstly, our immune system is strengthened or weakened by what happens here in our gut. So yes, what we put into our bodies, but also how we can really work to get our digestive systems moving and working as effectively as they can. And the second thing is exercise lowers stress. Um, but it also gets our lymphatic systems really working, so blood flow and airflow through the body. And we're going to be doing some movements that will really focus on that. So if you have a mat, grab it. The good news is you don't need any hand sanitizer. You don't need to wash your hands any more before or after this workout because you're doing this from the comfort of your own home. And you can do all of our Sleek Ballet Fitness workouts from the comfort of your own home too. So grab your mat, have some water to hand, and let's get going. So let's start by warming up the body. Toes forward, heels back, roll your shoulders back, pull your tummy in, point your tailbone down. Keep that feeling of drawing the tummy in as we release forward. Roll your shoulders back, lift up to the ceiling, a gentle lift from the chin. Lift up and up to the ceiling. Good, twice more. We're going to create some blood flow around the body here. Really open up into those lungs, get our respiratory system open. Can we make this bigger now as we take it through fifth? Good. Three more times. Sweep. And open up. Twice more. Sweep. Brushing the backs of the hands lightly against the floor if you can. Bend your knees. Sweep. And open up. Take your arms down. Find a second position. So heels in, toes out. Match your legs with your arms. Arms are wide open as we squeeze down into a plie. And draw up, plie needs to bend, work into that lower body. Now draw your tummy in and work your core, engage it. Good, last plie. Good, now this time give me a plie. Transfer your body weight, place that foot behind you. And as you do, take the arms to the feet, take a high release. Step back to second position, give me those plies again. Good, for three. Gentle squeezes, sliding down the wall behind you. Good, one more. And let's take that on the other side. Take a plie, transfer your weight, knee over toe, press this foot behind you. And a combre, open up, fill your lungs with air. Step to second, just give me one plie now. One plie to transfer, straight away, foot behind you and breath. Good, one plie. One plie to transfer, step the foot behind you and your breath. Again, one plie. One plie to transfer, little lunge foot comes behind you. And last time, one plie. One plie to lunge over up onto that last side. Big high release. Open up those arms, open those legs. Step back to a parallel position. And this time, take your arms up to fifth position. Sit your bottom back. Lengthen, squeeze, bottom back onto a chair. Reverse port de bras, so the arms are coming behind you as if they're cupping your bottom, open the chest again. Again, sit your bottom back. And lift. Good, twice more. We're gonna work into that digestive system now. We're gonna massage through it. As we take a lift up last time, this time we're gonna plie. Draw yourself up and squeezing one leg in towards your chest. Lift it up towards your armpit. Can you look down? Maybe your nose can touch your knee. Round out your spine. Pull your tummy in. Draw all the way up. Strength and balance here. Lift the arms up, hold the leg where it is, and step it down, release those arms. This time they come in front of us. As we take it on the second side, draw up. Three more, plie. Draw up. 
Working into our core here, draw that tummy away from the thighs. Good, last one. And lift up from here. Take an extra plie to sit down in that chair. Draw everything up and lift that leg up. And you do it as seamlessly as possible. The idea is we're drawing the thigh towards the rib cage here. Pull the tummy in. Now soften your chest. Nose comes down towards your knee, maybe your forehead. A gentle round into the spine. Draw that tummy in, contraction. Lift up, lengthen, keep the leg where it is. Release the arms to fit. Shoulders come down. Step back, beautiful. Time to stretch, widen your legs. Lift your chest, here's that high release. Palms up to ceiling. And then scoop that body forward, slide your hands down the backs of your calves. Taking hold gently of the outside of your ankles. Start to look between your legs as you stretch into the hamstrings and the lower back. Maybe peer into the wall behind you. Breathe in and as you breathe out, release off your arms, take a plie, so bend your legs and start to uncurl, roll up through your spine. The last thing to come up is going to be your head. Roll your shoulders and then come down to your mats. We're going to take our knees up to face the ceiling. And we're gonna mirror some of the movements that we just took standing. Starting with drawing the knee towards the chest, massaging here into our digestive systems. So at first, we keep that other opposite leg bent. And if you can, we're gonna straighten it, lengthen it out. Slight tuck to your chin. Now use your arm strength to pull that knee towards your opposite open armpit. Breathe. Devlape the leg up, and now we take a single hamstring stretch. So we've done it standing with both legs. This time we're concentrating on the leg that's lifted, gently drawing it towards us as you do breathe out. Touch the toes back in, one more squeeze towards that armpit, and place the leg down. Second side, draw that leg in, take hold of your shin. Knee comes towards your armpit, so slightly out. Options to extend the underneath leg. Get some length along that hip flexor, pull your tummy in. Gently tuck that chin as you start to develop this leg up. Keeping that knee lifted and open through the back of the leg to get that stretch. So don't worry about how close it comes to your body. Breathe out, draw the leg in. Bend the knee in. One more squeeze towards your armpit. And release that leg to the floor. Join it with your second leg. Let's lengthen out through that stomach now. We want to stretch through all those digestive system organs, lifting your hips nice and high. You want to feel like your tummy button is trying to tuck in up and under your bottom two ribs. Gently squeeze here into your glutes. Take a breath in. Release the hands overhead. Take a breath out, and as you do, can you lift up your demi points, press your arms down. Once more, breathe in, lower your heels. Send the arms up, breathe out, lift your heels, press your hips nice and high. Lower your heels, keep your hips high and start to roll down your spine. Now drawing your legs together, the soles of your feet are going to touch, our knees are open, we're releasing into our hips here. Any stress, any tension we take in our pelvis or our hip area, slide your hands down onto your inside thighs and just gently release it. So we're not bouncing but we're rocking side to side here. Keep drawing that tummy in. Squeeze your knees in and take both now. Legs come towards your chest. Maybe you can hold your fingertips interlaced, maybe your wrists, or maybe even grabbing your forearms. Press your lower tailbone, your tailbone lower vertebra down into the mat and gently tuck your chin. Breathe in, breathe out. Start to gently rock and roll. Release your hands off, massage along your spine. Keep that breath going. Work that lymphatic system. Turn onto your hands and knees and come to an all fours position. We're coming up with our toes tucked under and our hips high. Press your heels back to the mat and as you do, breathe all that breath, that ec oxygen, your lungs out. Breathe in. If you need to lift your heels, you can. As you breathe out, send them down. And start to walk your hands to your feet, to your feet, to your hands. 
So if you're already suffering with any upper respiratory problems here, so maybe your nose is blocked, your sinuses are blocked, then you don't need to hang forward so low, come up halfway, or come up to a fully standing position. If you feel healthy in your upper respiratory system, see if you can grab your opposite elbow here, bend your knees, and just draw your forearms down towards the mat. To uncurl, bring your forearms with you. Everybody, pull your tummy in, stack your spine. Big breath in at the top. And this time we find first position, heels together, toes apart. Release your hands, find that fifth position, lower your shoulders, take a breath in. As you breathe out, open the arms, releve. Press down through hot, heavy, sticky air. Shoulders side down your back, your chest feels open. Lower your heels, pull up your legs, draw your tummy in. And step to the side, take a little rev once. So keep your immune systems healthy and boosted by joining us at Sleep Ballet Fitness and I'll see you again very soon. Oh, and don't forget, click like if you like and subscribe to our channel.